So you had another table full of resin. Uh, point a few things out. There's the ceiling. This is a subfloor for the floor. Uh, the three pod stands, the test bench. Uh, there's the back wall, the Athena room, the airlock area. Uh, the back room for this guy, the storage locker, that's actually handled with, by a printout that's included with the kit. Over here, two pod bay doors. Uh, looks like a short one, so that's easy to get a replacement from Scott. This guy goes in here somewhere, maybe? I forget what he said. And the Athena room, he suggested just doing a, a little bit of black paper or something to darken the window out. Over here, these are three uh, jigs or stands or rails for the pads. Four ventilators, two are the same, two pairs rather. So these two guys are the same, those two guys are the same. These two go in the middle of the ceiling, these two go on the edges, and you can tell because one side is flattened off so it will fit against the wall. Uh, this is a special little piece I think that I'll show in a little bit. These are three little turret guys that go on the ceiling. Uh, two water heaters that go on the back wall there. These pieces, I believe Scott said they're all going to come separately. However, in this case, he went ahead and glued them together for me. These go over in those windows right there. This is another section, a little special one, and I think this was the ceiling for this area over here. That does look like a fit, doesn't it? So let me see how much of this I can put together. The pod bay, or the uh, pod pads, uh, really can't be connected to the floor, the subfloor. Well, let's take a look at it and I'll show you how it goes. So flipping the main floor over, this is the subfloor. And the tip here was that it goes at right angles in the center. So uh, you remember how this gets set up. I'm going to tape this down, and this is a nifty little extra piece that Scott has included. When you open the front bay door there, you can see underneath, and technically there's not really anything there, but Scott put this little walkway together to just give an illusion of some depth. And there are a bunch of little pinholes all over this piece, but given that it's going to be painted black and in shadow, it's probably not going to be seen at all, or at least not much. This center track here is for the extending uh, pod rail essentially. The idea is that you take two pieces of brass and slide them in the side there and then to the center pad you drill a couple holes and then you can pull this in and out and that'll be the track for it. The other two pads have uh, these holes back here which uh, fit these little slabs, or at least they should. If not, ooh, shit. Oh, there's just snapping going in there. So that's how those go together, and then uh, I guess that sits like this right there. And one of the tricks Scott had mentioned was getting the pad levels be level with the main floor. Let me tape some of this together and we'll go from there. I can't put these guys on because this nub has to be completely cut off. But here it is. Wow, that's really awesome. This would make a great standalone kit. So the water closet over here, I'm pretty sure that must have a backing, if not just need a piece of styrene. And as I mentioned before, the uh, storage locker there is uh, filled up with a piece of paper printout. And then Scott also includes printouts for other things such as, uh, such as you'll see as we go when we get to that point. kind of falling apart here. <laughs> wow, this is really, really sweet. And then one of the tricks that you need to do is get the floor level here. This isn't quite exactly level, so you got to match it just a little. 
and I don't know that I would be able to fit this into the hull to have a look at how it would look, but I'll certainly give it a try. And it's set in there a little cockeyed, as you can see right now. The uh, door being as offset at the front there as it is. But this is the basic idea. And then, of course, the flight deck. would fit in here so something like that <laughs> oh sweet this is so great then once that's set into place I'm sure that that will help bring both halves of the sphere together and into round and then do the final clean up on uh, it's a fairly nasty seam going on there there's no hiding that yeah so this seam will be a uh, definite amount of time with some sanding sticks and then getting the seam of the two halves to go together will also be a trick you know I bet one thing you could do is get some Ava's epoxy Put some blocks around five, seven, nine of them, however many, on both sides, and then you could potentially screw the halves together. Huh, that's an interesting uh, notion. Something to explore when I start building it. So it's really good to see how much room is going on here. There's plenty of room for lighting. Not that there is all that much to do anyway. Basically all of these slots in the ceiling will need lights. And it looks like there's plenty of room for that. I'm wondering if it wouldn't be possible to motorize on a remote control the extension and opening of the door. It looks like there should be room, and if it's not totally accurate, I don't mind that. Because you're not really going to be able to see it from the inside angles anyway, unless you take it all apart. <laughs> uh, this is so great. This is so freaking great. This is one monster of a model kit. And here it is, nearly fully assembled. Oh, it looks like this is falling out of place. Uh, oh well. Won't quite be able to see what's going on here. Nevertheless, <laughs> so sweet. So freaking sweet. So here's where the optional rotator goes on. Uh, you glue this specifically onto a particular section here so that when you rotate it into place it aligned with wherever on here. And maybe it can... And here is all the great empty room going on in here.
let's pull the collar off and of course this isn't a great fit simply because this fin here has to go away it looks like one of the walls fell in <laughs> nevertheless this is really fantastic really really fantastic <clears throat> and lastly here's a look at what you get in the envelope several photo references I forget what Scott said about the suits whether he just didn't have them on him and he was going to send them to me or if they have to be made uh, I'll have to check back with him on that and some of the details here you can find over here This is the storage room locker. He gives you two prints. You only need one of them, but just in case you mess up. And here are some prints for the bridge. Very nice. Very glossy. And again, he gives you extras just in case you screw up one, you'll have another. So there are no instructions yet. He's going to be doing a video build for that. And uh, yeah, other than that. So there you have it. The Big D Command Module from Scott Alexander, Captain Cardboard of Atomic City Models. Check out his website to find this and other kits. Right now, as of May 2014, he's only running this and the Aries. So if you want to get on one of those, you certainly can. And every now and then he offers other kits as well. So you got to keep an eye out and send him an email every now and then and see what he's offering. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. See ya.